Karen asks, can anyone tell me if a guest with Microsoft licenses is treated different than a guest without Microsoft licenses when joining a Teams meeting from another party? Yes. 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 All right. They are. Hell, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I knew. I had a 50-50 shot, you know. Yes, yeah. no. I, took, I, I went with it. No, I mean, everything in the Microsoft world like, is license and permissions based. So if you are two users that look like they have the, the same, uh, you know, should have the same experience, have different experiences, it's because you have different differences in licensing. There's different SKUs that are out there that have different variations of the products and then different permissions levels around each one of those. But in general, when joining a meeting, a lot of it depends if, if you're both if one's licensed, one's unlicensed, then you're going to have a reduced feature set that you'll, uh, as a guest, um, invited into. I mean, well, I will say this: like if if like I'm hosting a meeting with my company, so Collab Talk, uh, and I invite both of you that are with you've got fully licensed in your uh, in your environments, but your capability is limited based on what I enable through my meeting, what I allow guests to go and do. Um, now, is there a difference between if you were an unlicensed guest that I just email invite you in? Well, then you start getting into the difficulties of the, uh, uh, between using, if you're using a free version of Teams, uh, then yeah, the it's oil and water. They don't mix. The free version is outside of the business application, the paid versions. You can be invited in as a guest. I just keep going back to when Hal couldn't chat. It drove him crazy. Yeah. Um, you in all of these AMAs last year, and he was like, "Why don't I have this?" and do you remember all that when he was yeah but it's there's a that's that's kind of my point there's a difference though between being a licensed user who is logging into a meeting from the wrong uh, uh tenant and so he's still logged into his personal tenant trying to get into so he's coming in as a as a as a guest through that tenant versus a full-fledged member through another tenant so there's that issue but we're still talking about business licensed users right. and versus I, I don't have a license. I've been, been invited into this. Uh, so that's the, yeah, you're going to have reduced functionality where it's going to not let you uh, uh, see, uh, you know, share to this participate in the chat. It's not going to let you do other basic functionality. I don't know what the complete list is, what you can't do as an unpaid unlicensed member of a meeting like you're as a host i can invite anybody in to participate in a meeting um but yeah it, you just have a reduced feature set by not being licensed and then there's on top of that there's if you're if you have a free license which is a completely different teams free that was my point is it's a completely different product so reading into karen's I don't think she's asking about that free version. She's saying unlicensed, but I just want to differentiate those three different things. Paid licensed user, unpaid unlicensed, licensed free, three different experiences. Yeah, and then on top of that, you've got the, um, it, for me, the dead giveaways when you get the little login that says, what is your name? And it doesn't know who you are. You're truly like an, like anonymous. That's a you're sign yeah. that you're that you've logged in incorrectly. Yes. Exactly. It's a big red flashing thing. Say we have no idea who you are. Hi, Mike. <laughs> Mike couldn't even stand this discussion. He had to uh, had to leave. So. He warned us. He said, "I got a hard stop." So.